for our younger kids, we're going to um, turn the paper over so we have a really nice colored leaf. We're going to flip our page over so it's and we can't see anything. We're just on the back. And I'm going to take a crayon so that it doesn't bleed through my page. And I'm going to make two lines, okay? So I'm gonna do a top to bottom all the way attaching them. And then I'm going to do one going across about in the middle. They don't have to be perfect, but they do have to touch the top to the bottom and the side to the side. And then we're going to take our scissors, making sure we're holding them with our thumb in the top, two fingers in the bottom, and we're going to cut out on these lines. So go ahead and cut these all the way across. Um, and for our older students who are already doing some pretty good cutting, we're going to turn it over and we're going to cut on the dashed lines, lots of zigzags going across, and we're going to cut it all out and then put it back together. Okay, so for the purpose of this, I'm going to go ahead and cut on the zigzag lines. Okay, so this requires a lot of help from our helper hand. We wanna really try to stay on the lines because this will affect how easy it is to put our puzzle back together. Okay, this activity addresses visual perceptual skills because we're putting a puzzle back together. and also addresses visual memory because if your student is able to remember which color they did first or what was on the top versus the bottom, then it will be easier to put their puzzle back together. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put our puzzle back together and so I'm gonna mix it up a little bit and we wanna end up with a square, right? So we started with a square. I remember I had a purple on my top and then let's see. I can see some green so I'm going to Try, oh, that doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna turn it until it fits. And we wanna line it up correctly. And I think I had brown over here. Let's see. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Let's see. There we go, that one and that one. And we can glue this to a sheet of paper. Again, it should form a nice square. So if we put it back together and all the lines are touching, then we can see we have a nice colorful leaf. Okay, if you cut it um, into fourths, it should be a little bit easier, but we wanna ask our child, what color did we put on the top? And try to remember which one did you use first? And that'll help to get the top started, okay? And that's our activity for the week.